OK, so what are the benefits of styles? Let's have a look at some. So here we have unformatted document that we looked at previously where we don't have any styles and in fact all the text has been changed using the font and the paragraph not by assigning a style to it. Now let's have a look at the actual formatted document that we created. Here we go. And as I click on each of these you can see the style in the top right is changing. So one of the views that you have if we click on view is the navigation pane. Let's first have a look at the unformatted view. So I'm going to come to the unformatted view. I'm going to click on view, navigation pane. And you can see that this document does not contain headings. Well, it does. You can see them here. But as far as Word is concerned, it doesn't recognize them as headings because they all have the same styles applied to them. Let's now look at the other formatted document and let's view the navigation pane. And you can see that now we have headings. And in fact, as I click on the different headings, it takes me to that part of the document. So it's a very nice way of navigating your document. And this is just inbuilt functionality of Word because we've used styles. Let's say perhaps I want to change this particular body formatting. What I could do is I could perhaps change just one word so let's say that I actually want this to be all in bold. Then I want to apply this style so that all body text is bold. And in fact, that change takes place throughout the document. If I right click, I can see I have styles and then I've got the ability to update the body text training to match what has been selected. And if I click on this, you'll see now that everything in the, within this document that is of the style body text will now be bold. So it's a very quick and easy way to update the entire look of your document. Let me just undo that by doing Control and Z. There we go. And also undo that bold. Another bit of functionality that we get by using styles is the contents page. This was the original contents page. This had been created manually. You can just see as I click on each one of these areas here, there's no functionality associated with it. What I'm now going to do is I'm now going to delete this table of contents. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to the references up here and you can see I've got table of contents. I'm going to click on here and I've got a number of options here. I can choose an automatic table or a manual table. And so I'm just going to choose the first automatic table. And you can see straight away now that when I move the mouse over here, suddenly it's shaded and it's just created this for me automatically. If I want to go to any of these sections, all I do is hold down control and just click. And then it will take me to that page of the document. Let's go back to the contents page. We saw earlier how we update the contents page. Let's perhaps change this introduction. Here we go. If I click on the introduction, introduction for this document. And now if I go back to the contents page and I select it, suddenly I get this option here to update the table. Do I just want to update the numbers or do I also want to update the entire table? I'm going to choose the entire table. And you can now see it says introduction for this document. So it ensures the table of contents is in line with the contents of the actual document itself. If I ever want to remove it, I now just come here and with a real simple click, I can remove a table of content. We'll look at a table of contents in more detail in some later videos, but that just shows you the power of using styles. As usual, give it a go.